Welcome to GM6 Drone Mapping. The statement you just saw is on PIX4D's website and it's the focus of this series. We're digging deeper into this statement to determine if a drone can save a company money or if it's just an extra cost. For those of you who may not know, when a construction company bids on a job, they have to figure in cost for everything from contractors they need to hire to cost for travel, cost for materials, cost for insurance, and anything else that they know they're gonna to need to complete that project. Then, they add an average of six to 10% on top of that. That six to 10% is their profit. If mistakes are made, they have to be corrected. It can cost big. The bigger the mistake, the more it's gonna cut into that profit. And let's face it, at the end of the day, it's all about money. But on this project, Madison Construction is the lead construction company and they've never used drones to monitor their sites. In the eight weeks since the job has started, they've already noted that the collecting of aerial images with the drone and processing them to create orthophotos can potentially save them thousands of dollars just in dirt work by verifying that the foundation is built to specs and that the water will drain properly. Let me give you some details and we'll take a look at PIX4D Mapper and then we'll take a look at PIX4D's BIM solution where I am uh, able to share the data that I've collected with the different contractors that are involved. The first thing that I want to look at in the BIM solution is the mapper where you process everything locally. The first thing I like to do when starting my project locally is to draw the border for my processing area. That allows for any adjoining properties to be cut out of my final project. It also helps by cutting out parts of the point cloud that would unnecessarily be created and would not be used. Other reasons that are beneficial to processing locally would be if you need to create uh, ground control points or if you're doing any kind of volume measurements or any other complex measurements that can all be done locally. In this case, uh, the construction company had asked for the contour lines to be changed to uh, one foot so that it would line up with their CAD drawing on their contours. I like to create my own custom template when working on a project. I usually start in my initial processing, which is step one, with full, and then when I go to step two, I typically will start with a one quarter image quality. It allows the project to process much faster, and of course, if you don't need the point cloud, there's no reason to check any of the boxes for the export because that also takes a lot of extra time. So then when I go on to step three, I'll set my options. A good one for a lot of people is the uh, ability to create a KML file because that can then be imported into uh, Google Maps when your project is completed and you want to upload it to the BIM with your own parameters, you go to the top and click on Upload Project and make sure that all of these boxes are checked and of course they would be green if the project is complete. Check this box and then be sure to hit Start Processing before you uh, click on upload. Otherwise, you'll get a project uploaded that will never start processing. All right, so once the project is uploaded, as you can see here, I've got a few days loaded already. So you just tick the box that says Ortho Mosaic, and that will load. You can see this is where we're at on the project now. And of course, you have the ability to 
change the opacity so you can see what it looked like before the project ever started. Also, you have an option for your DSM, which will show your contour. The DSM, of course, is your digital surface model. And as you can see with this one, I'll make it a little lighter, it shows the red is the highest point, and as it changes colors going to the lowest area. This project has been going on for about six weeks where the dirt work had to be built up around this pad so that all the water flowed this way into a retention pond that they had created for all the excess water. Another feature that has been very useful when sharing with the construction company is the measurement of distance and area. So if you want to measure the corner, And then you can label that line. We'll call this front corners. Hit save. And as you can see, it'll save the comment right here. And if you want to measure an area, you just click on the measure area tool and just pick a spot. We'll just do this for an example. We're going to measure this inside where they've already started drilling their piers. Hit save and it gives you a calculation. So you can annotate by leaving a marker and a note and then that'll be saved so that the uh, foreman or whatever crews need to view it for notes and make changes as needed. And also we have the ability to overlay, in this case, a contour map, the contours that were created in the CAD drawings before the project began so that you're able to follow along and make sure that changes are being made the way that they originally were meant to be.